All righty. You got me here? Yes, sir. All right, let's open it up to questions for you. And uh, we will start with whoever raises their hand first. Rob Mosley. Did that big three pointer with about eight minutes to go. And then uh, that really pretty, but tough uh, turnaround jumper in the lane a couple minutes later. Uh, it seems like you've been doing a little of everything for this team, but to step up in those moments and hit some big shots, what did you feel like those meant in terms of the momentum of the game and uh, uh, how, how clutch that was to get you guys rolling down the stretch? Uh, I think the three was luck, but uh, other than that, I think, I mean, I just go out there and just try to um, help the team, you know. I, I got the, the shot at the time. I made it, so it is what it is. But I just try to do the little things because we got Will. Just trying to get Will back on track. He's back on track now. So just getting the pieces, even Quincy, getting people going, I think it's really key for us because we need the whole team to be able to score the ball. So. Matt Preem, 247 Sports. Yeah, just your guys' defense in the last five minutes or so seemed to really maybe tick up a little bit the way you were playing the rest of the game. Just your thoughts on how you closed out the, the final five minutes. I think we did good, but we're just still not there yet. We gave up 42 points in the paint and had one block shot, so we got to do a lot better. I mean, there's just a lot going on. I'm just going to tell you guys, we got to work. We got to get better in our blue. We've been going black the whole game, and we got to give them a different look, you know. So I think we'll, we'll, we'll get better as the season goes along, but we can't keep giving points up like that. So five minutes, were, the last five minutes were good, but got lucky, I think, a little bit still. Zach Neal, Ducks, uh, Wire. You guys got Arizona State on Sunday. You're one of the few people on the team that knows what it what it's like to play in the Pac-12 and play in this conference. What can you and Will kind of tell the other guys on the team to, to get them ready for that? Uh, I mean, you have to be ready to play defense, and there's a lot of good guards. I mean, UC Riverside had a good guard play today, but I know Arizona State didn't really score too much today and had a little bad game, but they have really good guards. So we got to just come in prepared, and we let them know right now, like, this is something that's – you guys want to want to win like we did last year. We got to take every game for, for granted and, and not just – we just plan. James Krapia, the Oregonian. How does Infali's presence change this team, Eric? Because clearly he's he started the last two games. He's played more. Coach is talking about a minute restriction at 20 minutes, but tonight he plays 22 and comes up with some big rebounds there down the stretch. I know he's about 50% from the line, but just how does he change okay. everything there in the last That's okay. Games? He'll, he'll come along on the free throw. Don't worry about that. Uh, his presence really helps his uh, – I know we try to go small ball sometimes, but having him in really is key for us, having a big man in and being able to throw the ball in the paint and, and get post touches for him is key for our team because inside out will be it's helpful more than just guards having to rely on taking up a crazy shot. We have a big in there, so it just fluctuates the offense a little better. Chris Hansen, the register guard. Yeah, Eric, what is it about this team that play, you guys are playing so well at home right now? Is it just a coincidence of the teams you're facing, the matchups you're facing? Are you a different team when you're at home? Uh, I definitely think we're a different team at home. I mean, our crowd's there. The pit crew always keeps our team going. Our, our bench is good at home, much different at home. I don't know. We don't have, I don't know if we haven't, we don't like road games or not. I love road games, but as a team, I don't, we haven't been the same juice as we've had playing in MKA. So I think moving forward, we got to just, because we go to Stanford next week. So I think we got to really look forward to, to road games too. James. As one of the major returning guys and returning starters, what was that two week stretch like? And you were the guy who was scoring in double figures amid those games. What, how would you explain what uh, happened? I could have had zero points at 20. It was, it was hurtful to, to go out there and, and fall like that, you know? Just, we just weren't connected. We weren't all like connected. It wasn't like we we're selfish players or anything. We just aren't all like connected when we're out there like talking and, and just small things. And it just plays a big factor. Like Houston came in and, and smacked us in the ass, honestly. So I think it was just a wake up call. I think it was better to have that in November and later in the season. So I hope we can just keep moving forward. All right, Eric, looks like that's all we have for you. Congrats on the win tonight. Yes, sir. Have a good one, y'all. <laughs>